G'day guys, welcome back to Shanky Garage. So in this episode, just gonna give a bit of a quick update on this tray. I'm still waiting on these infill panels, so I just thought I'd do a quick episode just on what I've been doing on the tray and just some of the issues that I did encounter when welding it all up. So we'll jump straight into it. Now, since the last episode, I've been basically welding up all this tray, I've ground it all back, and I've got the tray sitting back onto the chassis. And for the most part, it's sitting exactly how I had it all tacked together. So there's been minimal sort of movement or warpage in the tray. So that's a good thing. It definitely took a lot longer when you are striving for perfection or close to it. It definitely takes a lot longer to do things, but I'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out so far. I did have a few issues, but we'll talk about them in a sec. Now with the welding, I just started out welding all these side sections first. So I just done a pass in one area, moved to another area, done another pass and just kept working my, my way around till all the sides were all done. And I just tried to minimize the amount of heat I was putting into it. Because this material is relatively thinner wall section, so the RHS, it's all two mil wall thickness. I just wanted to yeah, minimize the amount of heat going into it to prevent any warpage. Now, once all the sides were all welded in, I then done all the tops and same thing. I just done a pass and then moved to another area, done another pass until all the top was all welded. Then I'd flipped it over and what I'd found is it had kind of slightly bowed. It wasn't much, it was about three or four mil, but it had a sort of bow, so it was sort of going like that. Now, because the outside sticks up three mil higher, um, when I put the straight edge on there, uh, this centre section was basically sitting level or slightly prouder than the outside frame. So by the time you put the infill panels on there, it would have like this sort of slight bow. So I was a little bit concerned there, but what I'd done, I thought I'd weld up the other side and I put a bit of heat in there and it actually just pulled it back level again. So yeah, ended up working out pretty good. Just something to be mindful of when you sort of do weld up the top, it will pull in and bow, but then yeah, when you weld the other side, it sort of just pulled it back level again. So now, yeah, it just has a three mil gap there still, which is good. Now with the guards, they're all welded in, so I just ended up using a die grinder around here just to clean up them welds, get it to all blend in nicely. These uh, angle sections, I've just welded all in there. Now I'm gonna fill that with some filler just to blend it all in nicely. Uh, these corner sections, I ended up making a piece, so I just cut out like a little triangle piece and put that in there and then blended it all in with weld, so yeah, that's all nice and blended in as well. Now one thing I found with welding these guards in is because it's all welded around here, what it wanted to do is pull the guard like that. So I wanted to like lift this side of the guard up and then that was making this outside frame lift up slightly as well. And because I want that nice and flush with this, so that three mil gap was getting larger. So to kind of rectify that, I had it in the welding table I had it clamped in the welding table and what I've done is just support this section here, just put some blocks underneath there. And then I used one of these heavy duty clamps and pulled this side down and then just used a hammer and gave it a bit of a hit. And then that ended up just yeah, getting it level again. And I had to do that pretty much on every single side of the guard. So I had to do it there, there and on the other side as well. So yeah, that's just one thing I found with welding in the guards. And then I've also filled in these side sections here. So I ended up just using 1.2 mil uh, cold rolled steel there. So I'm pretty sure the guards are two mil, but I just used 1.2 mil on the sides there. But yeah, she's a pretty low profile tray, which is what I was going for. It sits really close to that chassis. It's yeah, pretty close in between that frame and the chassis there. There's not much of a gap. Hopefully that's gonna be okay. Hopefully it won't rattle. I did try and push that down and I couldn't get it to hit the chassis. So yeah, we'll have to see with that. If it does rattle, I'll just have to put some foam tape on the underside of that frame to stop that from, from rattling. Um, and yeah, with these struts, you can just see uh, these sections here that are notched out for the struts to clear. So yeah, they sit in nice and snug there now. 
Yeah, it's definitely getting a lot more weight in it now. I ended up putting this on the chassis myself and it was an absolute bitch to get it on by yourself. Managed to get it done. Now the struts are still holding. I can still lift this up with one hand, um, but yeah, it is sort of only just holding. I think it doesn't really take much weight to sort of pull that down, but it is holding. So I might have to just up the pressure in them struts. So they're 650. I might have to say up it to a thousand. By the time you put the headboard and the infill panels, I think, yeah, that's probably gonna be right on the limit for them struts which is no biggie. Yeah, with these infills on the side, I ended up just cutting out like a half round section like that. And then I ended up welding all that to the guard first. And then I had some holes drilled into this section here and I just plug welded them to the side of the frame. And then also with the ends of the tray here, I just uh, welded in a piece there to block that off. So I'll put some filler over that as well. I'd say the whole tray is probably going to need like a layer of filler anyway, just to get it all nice and smooth. Now that it's all welded up and sitting back on the chassis, everything's all looking good. So I can now take all the final measurements and just double check everything. And we can send these plans off to the laser cutter, get all the infill panels cut out. So I'm hoping maybe one to two weeks until I can get them back. I've still got things to do on this tray. I've got to, weld in these mounts onto the chassis, You've got to make up the pins and mount them. Um, I've got these side sections I need to weld in here as well. So because the infill panel's gonna yeah, rest up against here, I need something for that to, to rest on. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this uh, 25 by 25 angle section. So I'll weld them sections all along the side here and at the back as well. So I'll get them in and I can then pretty much coat it in epoxy, get it all epoxied. And then once it's all epoxied, get the infill panels and I can start drilling in and yeah, putting all the nut certs and everything in um, to yeah, mount these uh, infill panels in. Okay, so this Fortnite's episode, it was just more of an update really. I wasn't gonna make an episode until I got all these infill panels back because there isn't really much exciting going on, but I thought I'd just make a quick episode, just updating and show you the process of welding up the tray and a couple of the issues that I'd found. So hopefully in the next episode, I'll get these infill panels back and I can get them mounted onto the top of the tray. So I'm pretty excited to see how that's gonna look. Anyway, if you like what I do and wanna help support the channel, head over to the Shanky Garage merch store. I'll put a link in the show show notes below. Hit that like and subscribe button as well if you haven't already. I am coming up to about 7,500 subscribers so I'm chasing the 10,000 subscriber milestone so I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. Hit that subscribe button and if you are new to the channel and this build I highly recommend checking out the playlist of this build. I'll put a card up in this corner here so you click on the card and it's all in order of the very first episode to the latest so have a binge on that. And yeah, we'll see you next time on Shanky Garage. Cheers.